everyone, LP here, and uh, please take one second. I got contacted by Grindstone Industry, or Grindstone uh, Ministry, uh, TJ's organization. Uh, you may know him as um, Bear Independent. That's right. We ain't drinking buddies, but we bought, got each other's back, I think. Guys, they need help. Listen, please, don't scroll away. Listen to what I have to say. I'm just going to show you the email. Let me push a button over here. And uh, we we'll, we will talk about that uh, specifically. Um, it's going to be that one. That's going to be it right there. Let's go ahead and hit the F11 button on that so you can see it a little bit better. Today I'm reaching out to you with a request. Grind Cell Ministries, a charity we support uh, that deploys to areas hit by disasters, is currently set up near Irwin, Tennessee. They need help desperately. Uh, I'm hoping you've seen the devastation. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you've seen the devastation caused by Helene, and I pray if you were in the path that you are safe and experience no damage. Let's make this bigger. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the devastation caused by Helene, uh, Helene, and I pray you were in the path uh, that you're safe and experience no damage. Grindstone has set up a base in Jonesboro, Tennessee, and are helping the folks in Irwin with hopes to expand into NC. They are one of Two charities in Tennessee emergency management is also allowing to operate at this time. If you guys didn't know this, the emergency management service won't just let anybody show up and, and say, we're here to help. They, they have to do with some very crazy stuff. Two of my best friends are in uh, Avery County, North Carolina, and one climbed the top of a mountain today to get enough signal to contact me. He said, it looks like a bomb went off uh, everywhere. Total devastation. My request is... Uh, my request is, could you please share our, our web address, www.grindstoneministries.com. I will put all the links you guys need in the description. That's the only thing that will be there. Uh, website on your social platforms, Grindstone doesn't have high-paid CEOs or admins. In fact, the CEO takes zero in salary. That's right, Bear gets paid nothing for doing this work. Uh, they are in the field doing the things that help those in need and thousands are in need right now. I know there's nothing in it for you except helping your fellow humans who have lost everything. Totally agree. Uh, they need supplies, food, water, basic toiletries, clothing, blankets, sleeping bags, flashlight, and anything else you can imagine. They also need people. People who have and can operate chainsaws and heavy equipment. People who can cook etc. So they need warm bodies. You can contact, uh, and they, they, it's got the, ad, the admin uh, email address for Grindstone. I'll put that in the description for your info if you wish to physically help. And the address uh, for their base of operations is 401 Cherry Grove Road, Jonesboro, Tennessee. Supplies can be shipped there. So guys, if you've got, the, I'll put that address in the description as well. Uh, if you share, uh, let's see, uh, and then it's just admin stuff after that. So Grindstone Ministries uh, and uh, what's a Kyle Menard, ex executive director, it sent this to me. All right, so um, basically they need uh, they need supplies, guys. I'm going to put a link in the, you know what, I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see what it looks like so you don't get lost. Uh, but they need people, okay, and if you can't do that, that if you can't if you can't get to this place to help these people, okay. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all of these uh, the things that they need uh, in the description as well. But I want to I want to get you onto their website real quick so you can see it. The Grindstones Ministry uh, and uh, the website itself is taking us there. We go. Okay, so we're not going to read it. Uh, there is a video that I'll I'll I'll, get, I'll put a, a description of the video. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'll put a link to their video in the description that talks about what they do. Uh, but it's like three minutes long, and it's it's like a motivational video. It doesn't really do much for you other than tell you how they feel about things. But the important thing is, uh, that's the video right there, uh, donate. We're going to click on that. Uh, and then I will also put a direct link. I'll just say donate. That's the top link that I'll put on there because that's the I think that's the fastest way that you can help them, um, I think anyway. Uh, but uh, if you uh, want to, uh, the next one should be that admin email address where you can contact them and say, hey, I want to come help, and here's how we do it. And obviously, it's that simple, guys. You can just literally just send them money, okay? Uh, so with that said, with that said, guys, I think it's important that uh, we, we take up this cause. 
uh, and that we do whatever we can do. This is the American way. This is why we don't need the government to save these people. The government's going to show up. The, 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 what is it? Uh, was it OSHA? is uh, Not OSHA, but uh, um, the head of the emergency management service is in North Carolina right now. They're not even in Tennessee. Okay? And they're going to show up. They're going to assess the situation. And they're going to do squat. All right? So, and I'm not, I'm not talking bad about them, but I, you guys all know what I'm talking about. This is an organization that actually gets stuff done. All right? So if you want to be part of it or if you want to contribute to it, the links are in the description. Please go do this. Please go help these people. I'm going to, I'm going to edit this video so you can't see my personal stuff and then I'm going to send it out raw. Guys, please, if you're in this, stay safe. Have a great day. As best you can anyway. And I shall see you when I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.